Number 10. China It's well known that the Chinese Communist Party and the Internet don't get along very well. Ever since the Internet made its way into China, the Chinese Communist Party has heavily censored and regulated it with their Great Firewall of China. The Great Firewall of China is a massive system of censorship that blocks selected websites the government deems as counter-revolutionary and filters results from internet searches initiated from computers in mainland China. So unsurprisingly, China's government and YouTube aren't exactly on speaking terms. YouTube was first blocked in China from October 2007 to March 2008, and it was again blocked in March 2009. Even though a spokesman from China's foreign ministry would neither confirm nor deny if YouTube had been blocked, since then, YouTube is still not accessible from China. Number 9. Iran Iran's long relationship with blocking YouTube started all the way back in December 2006, when Iran blocked YouTube along with several other sites after declaring them immoral. The Iranian ban on YouTube came after a video was posted online that appeared to show an Iranian soap opera star having sex with her boyfriend. The ban on YouTube was later lifted after the 2009 Iranian presidential election. But again in 2012, Iran reinstated their YouTube ban after the trailer for a controversial and low-budget film, The Innocence of Muslims, was released on YouTube. And at the time of this video's release, YouTube remains blocked in Iran. Number 8. The Islamic State As of this video's release, the self-proclaimed Islamic State officially restricts the use of internet within its borders. All citizens of the Islamic State are only permitted to access the internet in designated internet cafes while being monitored by religious authorities, meaning videos like the one you're watching right now are strictly off-limits. Number 7. North Korea Instead of heavily censoring the internet like China does, North Korea decided that the internet as a whole was too difficult to even attempt to control. So they simply made their own internet located exclusively within North Korea. So as a result, YouTube, along with every other website in existence, is blocked within the DPRK's borders. The censorship doesn't even stop there. North Korea doesn't even trust Western operating systems so North Korean computers run their own native operating system known as the Red Star OS. This operating system even has the Red Star of Communism on the taskbar instead of the Microsoft Windows logo. So good luck watching this video, North Korea. Number 6. Syria YouTube was banned in Syria until early 2011. But as the Arab Spring struck Syria later that year, and the country was torn apart, their ban on YouTube was reinstated following the start of the Syrian Civil War in March 2011. While the Syrian government maintains its ban on YouTube, this ban only applies to the areas within Syria the Syrian government still controls, and some inside the war-torn country are still able to access YouTube. But as of the day this video was uploaded, YouTube is still officially banned. Number 5. Turkey As of the release of this video, YouTube is currently banned in Turkey. In the future, while you are watching this video, it's likely that YouTube will be unbanned at some point. The following is a list of times YouTube has been banned in Turkey. <sighs> Let's begin. YouTube was banned in Turkey on September of 2007, again in January of 2008, once more in March of 2008, also in April of 2008, as well as May of 2008, in June of 2008, and don't forget March of 2014, will you just make up your mind? And finally, on the 6th of April 2015, YouTube was blocked again alongside Facebook and Twitter due to the widespread posting of a slain prosecutor during a hostage crisis. The ban is still ongoing, but with Turkey's history, it'll probably be lifted and then reinstated another 20,000 times. Number 4. Sudan. The Sudanese authorities blocked YouTube in April 2010, following their presidential elections, and also blocked Google. The block was in response to a YouTube video showing election officials openly rigging the Sudanese presidential election with fake votes. This is unsurprising because previously, Sudan blocked YouTube temporarily in 2008 for unknown reasons. And on September of 2012, YouTube was banned again because YouTube did not remove a film called The Innocence of Muslims. Until the film is removed off of YouTube, the site will remain blocked in Sudan. Number 3. South Sudan 
Even though Sudan and South Sudan don't exactly get along, they can agree on one key issue. Censorship of YouTube. South Sudan has blocked YouTube for the exact same reasons as Sudan did. The site still hosts the film The Innocence of Muslims. Until this film is entirely removed, it's likely to remain blocked for the foreseeable future. Number 2. Eritrea The government of Eritrea requires all internet service providers to use state-controlled internet infrastructure. Many websites managed by the Eritrean exiles are blocked, as is the website you are now on, YouTube. Authorities are believed to monitor email communications, even though internet usage in Eritrea is extremely limited. In fact, just 0.8% of Eritrea's population were able to access the internet in 2012. Number 1. Pakistan As of this video's release, YouTube is still blocked in Pakistan. YouTube has been blocked in Pakistan ever since September 2012 over its hosting of the Innocence of Muslims movie that sparked furious protest around the world. And Pakistan's Supreme Court ruled that the site should be banned until a way was found to block all blasphemous content. So for now, YouTube will remain blocked in Pakistan for the foreseeable future, because Pakistani officials have realized there is really no way to filter content deemed offensive and blasphemous on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe before this channel gets taken down in your country. You never know. And if you want to hear my voice some more, you can go check out my channel in the description. And we'll see you all next time.